Hey, hey guys, it's Comrade Sonator of PVOD, and this game is a PVT on Longinus. And this game, um, just to show you guys uh, how to play uh, PVT on Longinus, because um, it is a little bit different, because if you let the Trion macro up uh, with their first four bases, then it's very hard to stop them, and they can secure for their four bases with very little uh, static defense. Um, so this game, I'll be showing you guys a uh, way to play on this map to uh, have Protoss uh, and have an early advantage in the game. And just one quick thing I want to get out of the way. Um, lots of you guys uh, commented my last video and were bashing me for uh, advertising lockers. And well, in all in all realness, um, uh, some of you guys say it's a scheme and it's not true. Um, but I beg to differ because I've already gotten a free shirt and a free uh, iPod from it. So um, I, I don't really know why people say it's not uh, true or whatever. And second of all, like, come on, just give me a break. Um, uh, sure, I do advertise it in a video, but like, why, if you don't, you don't. It's not like I'm telling you you have to do it. So, like, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. I don't get why people are bashing me for saying that. But uh, nonetheless, um, I'm recording this video to just pretty much um, uh, show you more stuff that's uh, about how, how to play StarCraft. Um, nothing else really to it. And um, oh yeah, and I guess I still uh, should say this if anyone wants to. Uh, if you want, uh, send me some email addresses. Um, I will be giving personal lessons, and I've already done that uh, for three, four people. And um, if you're up for it, uh, just uh, put in me an inbox or message me on Hotmail or whatever uh, with some email addresses, and uh, you get some free lessons. And I'm gonna get to this game now. And please, guys, don't give me a hard time about advertising lockers, because come on, like it's not like it's a big deal. Um, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Uh, again. Um, anyway, so back to this game. Uh, as you can see, I am, what do you call it, harassing his SCV, and this is one key thing you want to do with your probe, and he's being really smart, but as you, as you can see, by making his SCV attack my probe, and he's really microing it really well, like, if you automatically just make a SCV right-click on a probe, guaranteed that probe will probably uh, kill that SCV if the probe is microed really well, and not even really well, if the probe just is microed, and um, as you can see, he's uh, constantly right-clicking on my SCV, and that's why I cannot kill his uh his SCV that's picking the barracks, um, and he's gotten my SCV to like five health. Um, it's really hard to kill an SCV when another SCV is attacking you. So um, as a trans player, you want to attack the pro Protoss uh, probe, really like constantly attack him so he doesn't kill an SCV. And as a Protoss player, you want to harass the trans SCVs that are making factories, barracks, refineries, whatever. And uh, once a marine comes out, then you get your ass out of there because. Um, a probe can't kill a marine, as sad as it is. But uh, an SCV can actually kill a marine without any micro, um, which is kind of weird, but um, it's true. Uh, SCV kills marines uh, if it's, there's no micro involved. And as you can see, this isn't like the best builder. Usually I like to go Power Goon, where you make two gateways early off, and then you get uh, two Dragoons right at once and power your opponent off uh, with just massive Dragoons and try to beat them that way. But I find that build order sometimes to be a little risky, and um, so yeah. this game I'm just going to be showing you guys how to do a one ga uh, one gate into fast, two gate into Dragoon Pressure build order. And it's kind of a safe build order, because even if it doesn't kill your opponent, for sure you're going to harass them quite a bit. And your economy isn't even that bad, because you're still making probes, you're still doing everything uh, that you need to do. Um, and I just making my probes scout to see how many uh, marines he has. Keeping a track of your opponent's marine count early game is really important also, because then you can kind of tell what build they're doing. Like, two marines that early, most likely he's not going He's not going to be going two fact because generally you only want one marine when you're going two fact build order. And now I see three marines, so I can... Four marines? Okay, now I can almost guarantee that he's not going a two fact build order, so I'm probably going to be assuming an FD build order where he's going one factory into expansion. And... Um, four marines, uh, generally on this map as a Terran player, you want to get, well, if you're playing Terran, you want to get a bunker, and he's being really smart by attacking his marines properly, like, this guy, uh, he's not bad at all, just from his, um, gameplay and his game sense as of now, and now when I have two dragoons, two dragoons, you can pressure the Terran player pretty easily, just because two dragoons do a lot of damage versus five marines, and now, as you can see, killing one marine, and just make sure you don't lose dragoons, because if you lose dragoons, then it's just not good, because... Well, just, just, you just don't want to lose Dragoons, because th this early game you just cannot afford to lose Dragoons. Just do as much damage as you can without losing Dragoons. And, um, as you can see, I'm constantly macroing while microing, and now he has he's being smart by pushing in, because he's supposed to be pushing in at this time. And now when he sees four Dragoons, he's going to back off. It's kind of like a standard Triniverse Protoss play. 
But now since there's no ramp, I have a pretty secure advantage. And as you can see, I'm microing my dragoons that have low life, and I'm going for the tank because obviously the tank's going to be doing the most damage. And he's being really smart by attacking while moving back his tank. And uh, I was thinking of going in, but I'm like no, because as you can see, he brought his CVs up. And yeah, uh, that's another T thing. If you're playing a siege mode, um, you don't go in a dilemma where oh, should I go in? Should I stay back? Should I go in? Should I stay back? Because you're going to get hit by siege tanks. And one attack from a siege tank this early game is that you can't, you just can't afford it. You need you need to either commit or not commit. And now as you can see, I'm going to commit. Um, despite what he has, I am going to commit. And now as you can see, yeah, there you go. Came in actually at a pretty perfect time because his other siege tank wasn't up. If the other siege tank was in siege mode, then I would have been screwed. And as you can see, uh, I've breached his base pretty much. Um, but all my dragoons are at low life, so... Uh, I'm making these two dragoons go attack him. I usually I thought I wasn't going to breach him, so I was just rallying my dragoons to my own base. But I figured I didn't breach him, so I'm going to go back and come over here. And as you can see, my dragoons are alive, so I'm going to micro it back. And don't want you don't want your Panther to make a command center, so I cancel that command center. And as you can see, three bases versus one base. So, well, it's not really three bases, but you know you get the point. And um, his siege tank's about to come out, so that's why he makes his SUVs come off right right about now. And um, yeah, as you can see, canceling that bunker, making him cancel that bunker, and making my weak dragoons go back and my f uh, my stronger dragoons go forward. And he's being really smart by bring off, all bring down all his SUVs. And all you really need to kill a siege tank is two dragoons. So I just got these two dragoons to attack that siege tank, and it's gonna go down, most likely. And there it is. Okay, now uh, just microing a little bit more. He's being really smart by pumping. But um, my micro is being pretty good. My macro, as you can see, is not being that good because I'm at 500 minerals. I should not be at this much. I'm trying to macro as much as I can, but um, not that great uh, as of now. And now, as you can see, four dragoons. Like, wait, when the siege tank comes out, four of my dragoons come out. And he's got a pretty good blockade right here, so um, I can't. I don't think I'll be able to really kill this. Oh, I, I, okay, I got the siege tank. Um, but as you can see, I'm constantly putting pressure on him. And this is one thing you want to do. Like, if you want to win this game, if you want to win TVP or the game on this map. You really gotta put pressure on your turn on opponent with uh, generally dragoons because uh, there's no ramp and you can really abuse the fact that there's no ramp as a protest player. So, like just the way I'm doing it, just constantly attacking him while um, uh, expanding and doing other stuff. And as you can see, I'm getting a citadel just in case uh, he does hold this somehow. I'm gonna have DTs coming out and uh, three dragoons out now and. My micro has been decent, not really good, but just decent. His siege tank, uh, sieging has been really bad. So that's what probably cost him the game. And he says GG, so this is a game. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll try to get one more video out today, considering it's Saturday. And it's pretty much it. Again, if you can, send me some emails for lockers. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll give you guys something out of it. It's not just doing it for me for nothing. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Look forward to more coming out. And see you later. Peace out.